Hey foodies, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my gadget kitchen. Today I'll be making chicken pot pies using my brand new Wolfgang Puck pie maker. This thing definitely has a learning curve, but at the end they came out great and it was fun, kinda. Okay, let's get started with the chicken. If you remember my air fryer rotisserie chicken video, uh, you saw that I cooked two chickens. This is the second one. I'll be saving the bones from this chicken along with the bones from the first chicken to make chicken stock. The link to that video will be in the description box. So once I have chopped up all the chicken, it's time to set it aside to start on the other items. Here I'm dicing the potatoes. I'm using my sharper image dicer to make this job super easy. My knife skills aren't that great. No way I could dice all those potatoes evenly. So now I'm adding the potatoes to my two quart Kasori pressure cooker. It's just the potatoes and half a cup of chicken broth and I set the cooker to cook for four minutes. So now I'm adding my pearl onions to a melted stick of butter. Next comes the flour. Once the flour is incorporated, I seasoned it with some salt, pepper, and thyme. Now it's time to slowly add the chicken broth. Once all of the chicken broth has been added, it's time to add in the milk. Here I am tasting it to check the seasonings. Needs a little bit more salt and pepper. Now let's add in the chicken. Once the chicken is incorporated, it's time to add all the veggies. Here's what the finished filling looks like. Okay, let's get started on the pie crust. I'm just using refrigerated dough just to make it simple and I'm rolling it out to prepare for cutting. The cooker came with a reversible cutter and it cuts the bottom and top pieces. Okay, here you see me um, re-rolling the leftover dough. Waste not, want not. Now the fun begins. It's time to start making these pies. Here is where we run into mistake number one. I didn't fill the bottoms enough, so the tops are very flat. The top of the cooker is curved, so without a curved top, the I wasn't going to get any browning. So I decided to take them out and put them in the oven to finish browning, but I couldn't figure out how to get these suckers out. I finally got lucky and got them out, but this last one was just so rude. I'm no quitter, so let's do this again. This time I'm going to overfill the bottoms so the top is rounded. These baked up way better. However, I still needed to get them out. I ended up getting lucky and I was able to get all four of them out. In my next video, I will show you a trick that works flawlessly. At the end of the day, these were a pain in the butt, but they came out great. The crust was nice and flaky. Everything was delicious. Just watch out for my next video so you learn my trick. As always, thanks for watching and please give us thumbs up and hit subscribe. Bye.